This profound faith in the authority of Jesus' word is something we can learn from. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, In today's gospel passage from the gospel of St. Luke, we encounter a remarkable story of faith, humility and the power of belief. It is a story of a Roman centurion who seeks Jesus' help for his paralyzed servant. This centurion, though a foreigner and a representative of the occupying Roman forces, demonstrates a faith that even amazes Jesus. First and foremost, let's reflect on the centurion's humility. Despite his authority and power, he recognizes his own unworthiness to approach Jesus directly. He sends Jewish elders to speak on his behalf, showing respect for the local customs and tradition. In doing so, he teaches us the importance of humility in our approach to God. Secondly, the centurion's faith is truly extraordinary. He believes that Jesus has the power to heal his servant and he doesn't need Jesus to be physically present to perform the miracle. He says, Lord, I am not worthy enough that you come into my roof, but just say the word and my servant shall be healed. This profound faith in the authority of Jesus' word is something we can learn from. It reminds us that faith is not about the physical proximity to Jesus, but about trusting in his power and goodness. And what does Jesus say in response? He marvels at the centurion's faith and declares, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Jesus acknowledges that his foreigner's faith surpasses that of many among the chosen people of Israel. This teaches us that faith is not limited by our background or status. It is open to all who genuinely believe. So what can we learn from today's gospel passage? Firstly, let us humble ourselves before the Lord, recognizing our need for His mercy and grace. Secondly, let us cultivate a deep and unwavering faith, believing that Jesus has the power to heal, transform and save. And finally, let us remember that God's love and mercy extends to all, regardless of their background or circumstances. May we be inspired by the centurion's example to approach Jesus with humility, faith and firm belief that he is the source of healing and salvation. Amen.